guys, this is Tutorial so again, and today I'm going to be doing another tutorial. Uh, once again, I'm sorry for not doing one in a while. Um, I got caught up in school and a lot of other activities over the summer, and I haven't got time to really do one. But uh, now I'm finishing my video request from a YouTuber named Ryan Hav Parr who requested a month ago, Hey, can you do Cinema 4D a tutorial on how to get it for free, please? And uh, yeah. Um, I researched and it's really easy, so I'm just going to show you guys how to do that for anyone else that wants it, including him. So, uh, here you go. Okay, so first of all, you're going to want to download something from the internet. So you're going to want to open up your preferred uh, internet browser. I use Firefox and Safari, but I'm just using Firefox for no reason today. And I found a link on Mediafire that includes the whole Cinema 4D download for free. The full thing for 55 megabytes. So if you have a fast internet, uh, it sh um, connection, it should only take like 5 to 10 minutes, probably like 5 for me. Uh, so click here to start download, everything's free, just download it, and uh, you would open it up in WinRAR or WinZip or whatever you want. So you're going to want to click OK. Remember, virus free. Alright, so just wait for that. Oh yeah, and it's already downloading. Uh, I already downloaded it prior uh, yesterday, so I'm just going to cancel that and remove it from the list. But uh, you can open it or save it, but if you save it, obviously remember where you saved it on your computer. I personally saved it to, uh, this is the download uh, when it's finished. I personally saved it to my desktop. It comes up as a folder and I saved it to my uh, own tutorial so folder. Let's open that up and it would appear as this uh, Cinema 4D in the folder. If you save that as your desktop, desktop it would just uh, be here. Open that up and it contains two things data it's really easy this tutorial is really easy data you don't want to mess it up mess up that stuff just keep it there where it is and the actual cinema 4d application so you're going to want to open that it's launching right now and uh when i first started up it took a little bit so uh, i'll continue this video when it's done okay yeah so guys don't think it takes long time so actually right when i pause the video uh, the little intro window came up just like it does in Sony Vegas and it opened up the main program. Um, I'm sorry to say that I never really used this program yet. I just came up with a tutorial and looked for a link and stuff with, like that. Uh, so I wouldn't be able to show you how to use it or anything like that because all these icons are really new to me. Uh, in the future, me or my partner Garrett in the channel uh, will do a little tutorial for any beginners out there who just downloaded this and thought it was cool because I know what it's used for, like intro and stuff like that recording. But uh, yeah, we'll come up with a little uh, tutorial on how to use it for beginners, and uh, when we start to get it to use it ourselves, we'll do more advanced stuff and actually come up with some cool intros like we did in Sony Vegas uh, in the past, uh, mine. So yeah, thank you for watching this video, subscribe, and uh, more tutorials.